Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and I document my weight loss journey in a weekly format, showing you guys what I eat every day as well as the workouts that I'm doing. If you are new here, please do subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And now let's get into this new weekly vlog. So we're on a new month. It is officially November, which is insane. And you know, thinking back on it, I didn't think this is how the year was gonna turn out, but I'm not alone in that because none of us thought this was how the year was gonna turn out with a pandemic and quarantining and lockdowns. <laughs> but anyways, I know I said last month that I was gonna do no sweets and you guys saw that that didn't work out that well for me I had sweets I think after talking with Mel I'm just going to stick with sorry if you can hear my neighbors upstairs I think going forward what I'm going to try to do and not beat myself up over it is have one cheat meal a week along with one sweet a week so if that cheat meal is Chick-fil-a or Shake Shack or Five Guys which I know those are all like burger sandwich places or even ramen pho sushi crawfish boil pasta like whatever like eating out i think once a week and i want to try to do those on like the weekend just because it's something to look forward to and i'm home during the week so i should be eating the foods that i make at home anyway but also if i want something sweet i should do it on the weekend and have something that I look forward to. Now, if I have multiple sweets that week, I'm not going to beat myself over it because I had them, I enjoyed them, and I lived life. So I think that's the mentality that I want to go forward with. I'm going to stop trying to make these promises of I'm only going to eat healthy for 30 days and I'm never going to eat a sweet or I'm going to cut out carbs, you know, considerably. Like, no. I'm going to try my best to do moderation and have like a cheat meal that's one entire meal along with a dessert a week and if I end up not having one that week I'm not going to try to do this thing where I go twice as hard the next week it's a new week so starting off fresh and that's like from Sunday to Saturday type of thing we're still going to be showing you like well not we I'm still going to be showing you um, my workouts and foods and stuff like that Monday through Saturday as best as I can when I do go outside of my house it sometimes gets harder for me to vlog because I'll forget to bring my camera so I'll try to be better about that but yeah I just wanted to state that I'm done with trying to do these you know bad food versus good food and eating strictly clean because I did mention this before and I just need to stick with it. Moderation is key. I want to be able to eat foods that I love even when I am at a smaller size at this size and I know that I need to be in a caloric deficit. So for me, eating as healthy as possible, eating foods that are whole, you know, nutritious ingredients is key during this weight loss journey. But also, treating myself to foods that I love is something that I shouldn't just take off the table completely. So, all that to say is, I am going to get this workout right now. I'm going to start working out um, because it is 6.45 and I was supposed to start working out at 6.30, but you know, I'm talking to you guys, giving you the down low because it is a new month. It is November. Is almost over um, I do have some plans for the end of this year and so you'll see things kind of change and I will share things as they kind of come up um, but yeah I'm really excited to finish out this year and try to finish strong with my weight loss journey although I gained like 18 pounds essentially back well, technically like 16, 17, because I got down to 202 this year, and then gaining a lot of weight back, and getting up to 219 was really tough, 
and hard, but we're on the decline. We're getting back down, finally. And, you know, it was the pandemic 15. I gained it, and now we're, now I'm going back down, and I'm trying to get back down. It'd be nice to be, sorry, <laughs> there's like a bug. It'd be nice to get down to 202 by the end of the year, but I'm not gonna put that expectation on. I'm just trying to lose as much weight as I possibly can in the healthiest way that I can this year. And then 2021 is a new year, and it's a, you know, we'll continue doing these weekly vlogs and working out and getting the results that I would like to get. Both like, fitness goal wise and aesthetic goal wise and health goal wise so I'm gonna start on this workout because I've been talking and need to need to get it going I also want to get a walk in this morning um, yeah so I'm gonna go work out now and show you guys that I think today will be upper body maybe a full body workout I don't know I do know that I need a stretch that's neither here nor there <laughs>
I got my green juice along with my oatmeal that looks really crazy right now. I didn't have any fruits like banana or anything, so I put granola and now it's looking more like a cereal, but that's fine. It's peanut butter on the side. I'm going to mix it through and kind of see the oatmeal underneath. But yeah, that's the breakfast today with the green juice that also has collagen peptides. Guys, I finally received it. I finally received the package. So I've been saying like how I ordered something and I'm going to share what I received, basically, just give me a moment. I have received a new laptop. I have been meaning to order one for the longest time because my old laptop has been basically physically breaking and it's slowed down a lot. So I ordered a new laptop. I'm so excited because it's gonna make video editing so much faster because it has like a like such a better processor and everything like all the specs on it are just amazing i've been waiting for it this entire weekend well mainly since yesterday because it was supposed to be delivered yesterday things got delayed and it was delivered this afternoon so yeah i'm very very excited that it is finally arrived anyway I am going to check in with you guys in a little bit because it's about to be dinner time. But yeah, I got a new laptop. I'm really, really excited about it. It's nice and sleek. It is the Dell XPS um, 15 inches. And yeah, it is like so nice and sleek. It's a lot thinner because my other laptop is very bulky. But tonight I'm going to work on like transferring all of my files and stuff like that to my new laptop the files that i actually currently need because there's a lot of files on my laptop that i already switched over to my external hard drive that i don't need access to but it's just nice to have just in case i want to look at old footage or photos and all that type of stuff so yeah i'm very very excited that i got this new laptop i feel like such an adult it was definitely very pricey it was not cheap but you know i'm gonna be using this for a long time the other laptop that i had i had for like five six years and so it's lasted me a really long time and i prefer windows because usually when fixing a windows issue it's so much cheaper to deal with and i typically don't have issues with my laptops like i never have to send them in because something happened um whereas i find with like other like types of laptops i've heard the expensive stories that people have with their laptops and i'm just like you know what i'm just i'm just not gonna go there right now i feel like when i enter a certain tax bracket then i will buy those really really nice laptops but right now this was the best that I could do, that I was willing to do for myself. So I definitely feel very adult purchasing this really nice laptop and I'm really excited about it. But yeah, I will check in with you guys later. Um, it's like, it's four o'clock now, so I'll make food in like 15 minutes and have it. But it's been a really, really busy day at work and i have been stressed which is why my eye has been twitching so i'm excited for tomorrow because tomorrow i'm gonna go hiking you guys will see where i'm gonna bring my camera i'm i'm hope i'm hoping that you guys will see probably you guys will see because sometimes i forget to bring my camera outside i just forget and i don't want to like import footage from my phone because i just get really annoyed with doing it so yeah we'll see but hopefully you guys will see what i get up to tomorrow yeah, I'm going to be hiking, so I guess it's good that I didn't go for a walk this morning because I'll be going for a long time tomorrow <laughs> um, on the hike. So, yeah, I'll check in with you guys soon. Got my goat cheese ready for dinner. It is, ooh, 
eggs, and some vegetables with the goat cheese. So this morning I'm heading out to Whole Foods because I ran out of, well, I'm running out of milk, which is the oat milk that I buy now. It's more expensive, but it is just very simple, clean ingredients, and it's the only brand of oat milk that is the cleanest ingredients made without oils and all the other stuff, so I'm gonna go out and buy that. I don't have bananas, as you guys saw yesterday, so I wanna have that for my oatmeal this morning, and I also ran out of eggs yesterday, and I need that because I'm debating whether I should get oat, like eat oatmeal this morning or if I should make pancakes. I don't know. But also, I'm not going to be working out this morning because, well, technically I am, because I'm going on a hike today. As I mentioned, I will show you guys where when I get there. Um, if I remember to bring my camera, if not, I will show you guys afterwards. But yeah, I'm going to head to Whole Foods now, grab some food, like groceries, and then come back and make breakfast with you guys. So I will see you later. I just came back from Whole Foods and I will show you guys what I got, which is not a lot. Um, yeah, I'll show you now. So I got five things. I got some eggs, bananas, more cacao powder because I ran out, and two things of oat milk, or oat milk by milk. I just really like this because it truly is three simple ingredients as they say filtered water organic gluten-free oats and himalayan salt so there's nothing else in it it is simply just those things which makes me feel better so yeah that's what i got i am currently making my oatmeal so i will show you guys when that is finished and ready to eat Alright, there is the finished product, my oatmeal this morning. Just got back from the hike. I got Starbucks, I got a grande iced chai with no ice, um, coconut milk. I added cinnamon soy milk foam and one pump of pumpkin sauce. So honestly, it's so good. It is sweet, I will say, but it's really delicious. And yeah, I showed a little bit of the hike as you guys saw. Um, it was kind of blurry. I feel like this footage is also a little bit blurry. okay now it's not blurry anymore thank god but yeah it was a little bit blurry but i was driving but we went to green mountain um we did like four miles in two hours so it was really good um and it was also kind of hot so it's just like uh can we turn around and so we did because so i was like that there's another incline that was like i don't know if i can make that one and i was struggling a little bit to breathe but anyway i am gonna go take a bath now I bought some bath fizz balls from World Market the other day when I was with Cub. And so I'm going to put that in the bath now, along with a lot of Epsom salt, soak my body. Also, my skin cleared up like even more. Just like the discoloration was so much better. So I went to Ulta and I topped up on this, um, the Ordinary AHA BHA peeling solution. So I got another one of those just to top up. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my latte. Um, I got it with no ice just so that when I go into the bath, I don't shock my heart because of how cold the drink is and then how hot the bath is. So yeah, I also got some hair stuff. So sticking with gray, guys. I'm not going back to black. I'm sticking with gray because I really like the gray vibes. Hi, Grandma. Hey. 
What's that? It's my camera I'm making dinner. I have my eggs, vegetables, and sausage in there. Grandma. I'm FaceTiming Grandma, who's now now she's there. Hey, girl. <laughs> you look so nice. See, my eyes are just closed. No, they're open. They are. How can you not tell that your eyes are open? You know, I don't see. I have to wear my glasses now all the time. Oh, because you can't see. Yeah, I don't see clearly. Anymore. Oh, okay.
Good morning. This week has been especially crazy. I was in a meeting yesterday and someone was like, I have had enough whiskey to drown a rat. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so, that is such like a weird saying, but it was freaking hilarious. Anyways, it is currently, oh shoot, I messed up my password. It's currently 8.03. I'll just keep you down there. It is currently 8.03, well, 8.04 now. I'm signing into work a little bit early. Also, yesterday, I had like half a pint of that ice cream that I bought. I'm going to try to have the rest on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So I just got to wait a couple days, you know? All I got to do is wait a few days. But yeah, this week I have been starting my days, reading my Bible, going through the book of Ezra, which is really great. Just trying to get right in the morning and start myself on like the best foot possible so that I am focused and productive during the day. I did not work out this morning. I was going to do like an arm workout, but I've, I'm pretty sure I've worked out every day this week except today. So I'm also including my hike on Tuesday as a workout because that was like four miles. I don't know if I told you guys that, but we did four miles and it was done in under two hours, that hike at Green Mountain. And it was... A beautiful day it was pretty hot we gained like 200 feet I believe close to 300 feet in elevation like that's how much we gained during that hike which was good but also if we continued it would have been like six to seven hundred feet almost that yeah like it would have been really close to a thousand feet in elevation gain which the inclines were just getting really intense and I was just like I have not had enough water this morning and I'm going through my current water bottle really fast so my mouth is dry I need some agua I'm gonna get up on that but I'm currently starting work and I will check in with you guys around 8 30 which will be in like about 20 ish minutes um to show you my breakfast and what i have also i'm totally fine with being someone who has the same meals every day it honestly doesn't bother me i enjoy having the same meals i feel like i felt pressure to try to like make these really like extravagant meals but let's be honest they can be very expensive if you buy all those ingredients and like to make these grain bowls and to make these like really extravagant looking meals some of them can be really affordable and some of them can be very expensive and for me when eating food and trying to lose weight i'm like it's it's just simple like having vegetables having a protein having some carbs like that's really all I need and I do that and so I feel like the meals that I have although they don't like look exciting or adventurous they're still really good meals and they're helping me lose weight despite the sweet tooths that I've had but as we guys as we all know as we all know I am now on this journey of having like buying one sweet a week and having that whether that is through the week or at the weekend or having a candy or a cookie at that moment that will be my sweet I know not all of the sweets like equate the same but I feel like for me just buying one per week and having that is just the best option so if I want candy I can buy 
And I'm not buying like a bag of candy from Costco because that's honestly ridiculous. But like a smaller bag of candy or a pint of ice cream or a cookie that you can get at a gourmet cookie store like crumble or like an ice cream sandwich, like one of those things or cake or whatever, one sweet or dessert a week is better. And this week I chose ice cream as I did last week. I just woke up I'm gonna do um, a leg workout because you know honestly I really do enjoy leg workouts they are really good I find that I get really quick results like I notice my legs looking a little bit more defined when I do leg workouts more than arm workouts that's better so I'm gonna do a leg workout I woke up this morning I had such a weird dream last night well this morning actually that I remembered and it just freaked me out a little bit like it was as though I was on psychedelics or something and I my skin was getting like lighter and lighter and then it turned into paint and then I was melting at one point and then half of my body started seizing up and then just like it wrinkled really bad. It was just the weirdest feeling ever. And then how I woke up from that weird dream was that I had like this weird shiver chill and then I woke up and then I was like, oh my God, that felt too similar to like how I felt in the dream. And it just kind of freaked me out. I did not, I did not like that. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to start this leg workout and I'm really debating whether I should get AirPods or not. <laughs> A lot of my friends at work are like, don't get the AirPod pros. They suck. <laughs> so I may get AirPods. I don't know. I'm still debating, but yeah, let's get this workout.
butt and if you couldn't tell the butt is my weakest area of my body I never really work out my butt it is so painful doing each exercise but it's good like I definitely get a sweat clearly as you can see like I am sweating but yeah, but exercises are my weak, weakest one. So that was today's workouts, abs and butt. And now I'm gonna take a shower and make breakfast and talk to you later. <laughs> so I just got a delivery. I ordered a like camera clicker thing for my phone as well as a phone mount. So now I can attach my phone to my tripod and I can take pictures by myself. So this is really exciting. I've always wanted to try to do this. Um, I've always thought it was really cool. And I'm kind of, let me tell you my plan. Basically, I am planning on getting rid of this camera. And I plan on buying a Sony because I've always wanted a Sony. Nikons have been great. I've had this com this camera for several years and it's done me really well. The only thing is it's very bulky. I'm not taking photos as I used to. I'm more into vlogging and also my iPhone is good at taking photos and Sony has good like photo options as well. So I am going to try and buy a Sony camera to vlog with just that just so that it's smaller because this is a DSLR and I'm not taking like crazy photos like I used to with this camera anymore and I just want something that's smaller and able to do a little bit more for me so yeah I'm gonna be selling this camera on eBay as soon as I have purchased my Sony camera I think I might get the SV1 Sony or the a6100 so I have to save up for that for a couple months Maybe more than a couple months because it is not cheap And then I will go ahead and sell this on eBay to kind of make the money back type of thing So that is the plan because this camera is really great But at the same time it is very big and it is very bulky and having something that's a little bit more compact is just gonna be easier and yeah so I'm excited that I got this so now I can start taking like photos with my phone and doing like portraits and stuff like that and also with Sony like they have really good quality on their cameras so I'm really really excited for that as well but yeah I got this working I got it set up to take photos let me show you basically so there is, can you see it? Well, it's kind of blurry. Basically, I have my little thing right here and I could do this if I wanted to record. 
and then I can do this. Well, it didn't take a video, but if I wanted to record, I'm recording now, and then I can stop the recording, and then I can do it again. I can switch to photo and take a photo, and then I have it there. You can kind of see. So I'm going to delete those because I don't need these photos at all. But yeah, have this nice little setup here for my phone and really, really excited about that along with the, along with the little camera um, clicker thing. So I'm really, really excited to start using this. Hey guys, I just got back from the grocery store. I went to Trader Joe's and I went to Whole Foods. I picked up some items that should last me a few weeks and so I'm going to show you guys that right now. I'm going to be going to Costco tomorrow mainly because I just didn't have enough gas and I didn't feel like going and Costco is a little bit further away. So I'm going to go tomorrow and I'm sure you can guess from seeing tonight's food shop what is missing but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I purchased at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Some of it is really exciting. Like they're more adult purchases, but yeah, I'll, I'll just show you. I topped up on some eggs, bananas. I needed more chicken sausage along with turkey, burger, meat, and milk. I also got double the amount of kefir because I like to put quite a bit of this in my oatmeal in the mornings and I also needed more olive oil and I am running out of dried wild blueberries along with along with peanut butter and chia seeds as well as chocolate chips as you guys can see because I like to put that into my oatmeal. Some new things that I got were bread. I got a loaf of bread along with some vegan butter. I kind of just want to have toast tonight, maybe with a fried egg. I'm not that hungry, mainly because today has been really stressful and I've kind of lost my appetite. So there's that. I also got some active dry yeast. And then from Whole Foods, well, Whole Foods was mainly the milk and then these beverages here along with these beverages. I got the La Colombe oat milk lattes. I got two of them. One is vanilla and one is just original. So I have these two. I'm saving them for something that I'll tell you guys about later. And then these drinks are the adult Try not to show you guys my dishes. <laughs> the adult beverages, uh, adult purchases that I got. So I got some hard kombucha. I personally love kombucha and I've had a couple hard kombuchas before. So I'm excited to try this one. It is passion fruit with some elderflower. This one is apple jasmine. I had to get it because it has jasmine, which is my name. So I'm excited to try this. This one is acai, acai berry hard kombucha, which I'm really excited to try. That one was like the first one that I really liked. And then this one, the cover was just really cool, but also I love mango and I love ginger. So I'm really excited to try this one. And it's an easy kombucha, which is nice. So they're really pretty bottles, but I figured they can be some nice treats that I have at the weekend, as you guys can see. So I'll just put them all here so you guys can see them. Let me turn this one. But yeah, that is the, these are the kombuchas that I got. So I'll probably have a couple 
or maybe just one at the weekend because I'm not a huge drinker, but I do like kombucha and the fact that I can take my time drinking this while watching some shows will be great. I am most likely going to have just some toast with some butter. I think I have some jam. I do. I have some strawberry preserves that are reduced sugar. So I'll probably put that on there. Maybe have a fried egg and some tea because my allergies this week have just been crazy and I've been taking allergy medicine and it's been helping, but like towards when I am needing to retake it at the 24 hour mark which is 5 p.m for me i start getting like that drainage and you know not feeling that great again so my voice ends up sounding a little bit weird but yes i'm going to get some laundry going first and then well first i'm going to put all of this stuff away get some laundry going take a shower go in my room and watch The Mandalorian and I will show you my dinner and then we will chat tomorrow. But yes, I'm very just not feeling that great. So I'm just thinking that tea and some toast with some jelly along with a fried egg would be perfect for my dinner. Good morning guys. So yesterday I tried filming an outro for the week and I'll insert the footage now so you can see how incredibly blurry it was. So as you guys saw, the footage was extremely blurry. Yesterday morning, I was trying for the life of me to try to figure out the autofocus, realized that it was a problem with the lens. The camera body is perfectly fine because it works with the telephoto lens that I have and have never used because I don't need to take pictures of the moon. I'm not a photographer, so I don't need to take pictures of people far away. And even when I go traveling, I'm not really needing to take pictures of things that are far away. I prefer to get close to them. I'm just using a jade roller that I leave in the freezer to <laughs> deep up my face in the morning. I got out of the habit of doing this and need to just, yeah get back into the habit of depuffing my face. Currently, you are in the pantry. Well, my my pantry. Our version of pantry, because we don't really have a pantry here. Anyways, so the footage was very blurry and I was extremely frustrated and pretty negative of how I ended the video yesterday. So I wanted to redo it because there's something in my eye, as in I have eyelashes that are curling into my eye. Yeah, I was pretty negative in how I ended yesterday's video, so I wanted to redo it. So yesterday, on Saturday morning, I weighed 217. So gained a pound, I believe, from last week, but hey, that happens. I also believe with how I ate yesterday, I'm pretty sure I gained another pound or two. So we'll see this morning. I'll weigh myself this morning. But I, yesterday, because I was so stressed with the camera, I ended up having four slices of toast with butter and jam, essentially. What is it? Is it jam? Let me see what this, well, this thing actually says. It's strawberry preserves that I got from Kroger, and it's reduced sugar. So I had four slices of toast with butter and strawberry preserves. I had a banana and then in the evening because I was like running around trying to figure out if I should get a new camera which you guys are on the new camera like we're using the new camera right now and I am loving it it is so small and so compact it's just exactly what I wanted it has no detachable lens and I believe I said I wanted the Sony SV1 it's the Sony ZV1 like Z is in zebra so just wanted to clarify that because I'm pretty sure I said that wrong before 
But yeah, I got this camera. It's smaller and it's meant for vlogging and it does a really good job. I tested it out last night for photos and for videos and it does a really good job. Besides the point, weigh 217, ate yesterday four slices of toast in the morning with jam and butter. In the afternoon, had a banana. <laughs> then I had dinner with Mel. We watched Great British Bake Off. We ordered sushi, so I had one roll of fried sushi, one regular sushi, along with, she ordered four different cookies from Crumble, and she was like, do you want some? So I had a quarter of the chocolate cake cookie, which the frosting tastes like chocolate pudding, like exactly like chocolate pudding. It was delicious. And then I had a quarter of the churro cookie, the churro, churro or churro cookie. And that tasted so good, like so buttery, so cinnamony. Like as soon as you are taking a bite into that cookie, you know it's churro, you know it's so good. And I had a pint of my kombucha, my hard kombucha that you guys saw when I went to Whole Foods. I had the mango ginger one. It had 6% alcohol in it. And yeah, that is how I, that's exactly what I ate yesterday to the T. I didn't eat anything else, anything more, not leaving anything out. That's exactly what I had. So essentially I had half cookie, a pint of hard kombucha, two rolls of sushi, four slices of toast with jam and butter and a banana and water. Not enough water, but I had water. So that is how I'm ending the week. Thank you guys for making it this far into the video. I really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to comment down below. Say hi, I say hi back. Give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe to keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign? Yeah.